Here's one of Macabacus's most popular auditing features. It's called Formula Flow, and it's located right here in the Visualize drop-down menu. Let's investigate how to use it. First, select your entire worksheet. You can press Ctrl A twice on your keyboard to do that. One thing to note is that that shortcut might not always work for you unless your active cell is outside of the used range. Or press this little corner button here. Then go Visualize, Formula Flow, and Macabacus is really smart. It will only use your used range. It won't apply the visualization going all the way down to infinity. And it will apply to the cells with formulas in them one of a few patterns. Let's start with the date header right here. So we see horizontal lines. So this is denoting that this row is consistent horizontally. This cell right here, the 2022 year, doesn't have a visualization on it because this is a hard code that drives the rest of the formulas in the row. So that was just a really quick check to make sure that that row is consistent. Let's move down to our subtotal. We would expect that this row would be consistent, so we see those horizontal lines. The way to check this natively in Excel would be to highlight the row, then press Control backslash for row differences, and oh, it looks like we have an error there. And that this cell is highlighted with a dark turquoise color, indicating an inconsistency. So we can actually just identify that by using our visualization. And we can indeed see that it's not grabbing all of the rows above it in its sum function, so we can just fix that with a quick auto sum that's Alt plus on your keyboard. And then boom, you actually see that the visualization updates to reflect the latest change we just made. And we can see very intuitively that this row is consistent. Next, looking at our detailed calculations, we can see that these cells here are highlighted with a cross stitch pattern, both going horizontally and vertically. And then our final column here is actually just only consistent vertically. Therefore, that indicates a potential inconsistency going across the row. How we would check this using native Excel would be using row differences with backslash, and we can see a potential inconsistency here. Indeed, this is grabbing the wrong cell. We should be grabbing the last year's variable cost, so we can easily fix that. And going downwards, now we see that cross stitch pattern going all the way down and across on this block of cells, indicating that these calculations are consistent across the row and down their columns. How we would check the columns using native Excel would be by highlighting the applicable cells, then pressing Control, Shift, Backslash, and we get the notification that no cells are found, meaning there's no inconsistencies, which is indicated by our visualization here. We have that really nice cross-stitch pattern. And one last final thing, Formula Flow is amazing at picking up kind of errand formulas that don't belong in the workbook. For example, we have a ref error here that would we wouldn't have seen otherwise. It's basically invisible unless one is on that active cell. So we can just delete that out. And that's a really nice catch by Formula Flow. And don't worry, these highlights aren't permanent. You can just go up to visualize and then press clear visualizations. It will remove the active visualization from the worksheet. This is a really powerful tool and will help you check large financial models visually in a very quick way. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.